it's 11.30 and we just got home from St. Augustine and now I'm just gonna chill because I've had this migraine for two days and I feel super tired with it. I need to take some stuff. Um, we're hoping that we just chill the rest of today. We want to play a little bit of the old Kingdom Hearts game. Um, but other than that, I'm just gonna work on getting rid of this migraine because it really hurts a lot. Um, I hope you guys are having a good Sunday or Monday by the time you see this, I guess. Um, we still have, t we have to go back to work tomorrow, but we do have Tuesday off. So we're trying to decide what we're going to do for Tuesday. And the next Sunday we're, we're thinking of going to the Scottish Highland Games. And we will see if we, if we do that or not. We're not sure yet what's happening. But we did have a nice weekend, you know, we took a little mini trip and that's always fun. So, so it is, um... Tuesday and we were supposed to go to Volcano Bay today but it is 50 degrees so they closed down Volcano Bay um, so we are trying to figure out what we're going to actually do um, Marshall and I got a bunch done this morning I had to get some blood work done too and basically we decided we're going to go mini golfing so that we can enjoy the beautiful weather that's so nice and cold and um we're gonna get some lunch probably at like Del Taco or something on our way over there and then go mini golfing. So that seems like a good time, right? Okay, so we were planning on having a day over at Volcano Bay, but it's so cold that they closed it down. So instead, mini golf! <laughs> So this next hole goes here, under this net, down that hill, towards the ship. Wow. This one is actually on the pirate ship, which is pretty cool. So here, you have to get around this post to where Marshall's standing over there. That's so cool. So this course, which goes down a steep drop between the rocks and the holes down there. I just got a hole in one. Uh -huh. Let's see what Marshall does. So this one is in a cave and they even have like a little pond. It's like Tom Sawyer's Island in this one. Yeah. A little jail in here. There is a dude. I can see his eyes. Right there. It is Wednesday night and uh, I went to work today. Got stuff done. And we are watching Kingsman, the Golden Circle. Anyway, he found this new ice cream at Target. We had been eating Halo Top, but we found a really interesting a uh, new brand that we wanted to try called Enlightened. And this is what it looks like. This is, um, this one is only 90 calories. It's called Movie Night and it has buttery popcorn ice cream with chocolate bits and swirls of caramel. And this one is 100 calories per serving and it is brownies and cookie dough. So we are going to try these and see how they are. They're pretty much the same nutritional value as Halo Top. Um, so we want to see how it compares taste-wise. Um, you got the same. You got you got the movie night one, right? Mm -hmm. To experience full flavor, let soften. That's what it says under the lid. Um, but it's their their label is really funny too. It has some funny stuff. But we'll let you know how we like. It. Good evening. It is six o'clock on Thursday night, and I just got off work about a half an hour ago. 
and I am picking up Marshall, who's supposed to be off right now, and then we have to go pick up Corey, who's going to be off in a half an hour. We basically went from my work to here, and then I'm going to go back to work. Then we're going to go get something to eat for dinner, and then we're going to go to Trader Joe's, and then probably go home. It's going to be kind of an interesting night. Thank God it's Thursday, though, because that means that Friday is tomorrow, and we're almost done, and then we're going to have a three-day weekend. So I'm very, very excited about that. Um, as far as stuff going on, I don't know. There's, it, I mean, I'm getting a lot of stuff done, and it's great. Work is still mm, right now, but whatever. <laughs> it's work. So, comment down below. Tell me, comment, comment down below and tell me what's happening. Good morning, it is Friday, the 18th of January, and um, and it's the start of the weekend it is going to be tonight, um, and the start of three-day weekend, and I have to say that I'm very much looking forward to having a weekend where I can just catch up on stuff again. Um, I think I've done a pretty good job of being caught up on stuff, but... Um, there's just some things I just have been wanting to get done, but usually when I get home, I'm like, so tired, I can't deal. So, some things that are going on this weekend, um, and then I'll tell you about some frustrations that I've had. Um, so the first thing is that tonight, uh, for the second time, my husband is going to a Rob Bell function event. Corey's going to event event with him tonight. Um, he went last year also, but I... He just, he loves listening to him talk, so, um, he is gonna go do that tonight by himself while Marshall and I do stuff, and then, um, we're gonna get some work done on Sunday morning. We're going to the Scottish Highland Games, um, which I have been to, but the boys never have, and I can't wait. It's so much fun to see all the games that they do, like, they toss the caber, which is a really big tree, they do border collie herding, you know, there's just... I, I got to do archery and I hope I get to do it again because I'm good at archery and I don't get to do it much. Um, so, and watch, I'll go out there and do it and I'll totally bail. <laughs> like, I won't even be able to hit it this time. Why? Just because I said that. Um, so, that's basically our weekend. Let me tell you about my frustration right now since I haven't really talked to you a lot. So, basically, when I got the phone that I'm video on right now, it's a Samsung 9 Plus. Um, we love Samsungs. I've had many of them. And um, when we went to buy our phones, my husband got an upgrade phone and I got this one. And then we also were able to get a credit towards an electronic device. Um, so I got a Ver Fitbit, Fitbit Versa. And I, I used it on my phone for a while and it was fine. But then it decided it was going to disconnect like every other day and it wouldn't connect again. So I got really like just frustrated by it. So my husband actually had the Samsung Gear Fit um, before I had the Samsung, uh, before I had the Fitbit Versa, I had the Samsung Fit 2, which I loved, but I actually ended up giving it, either I gave it to Marshall or something happened to it, I don't know, but it was like my favorite smartwatch ever. So I gave the Versa to Corey and didn't have a watch for a while. And then I tried the Fit, the old Fit that we used to have, that my husband was using at the time, and it like it died. So right around Christmas I started doing more research and I really just wanted to get the Fit 2 back again. And I um, couldn't find it because apparently it was out so we thought they were phasing it out because they were bringing back a whole bunch of new Samsung Gear watches so I ended up getting the Samsung Gear S2 which is round and I don't have it with me right now it's in the other room but it's round and heavy 
and it doesn't fit my wrist correctly in that it will slide to the side of it because of the weight. I love the interface, but it would just slide. So I've been wearing it for like three weeks and I kind of said to my husband last night, you know, I love this watch, but I hate how it feels. And so we were like, well, maybe we should try to switch back. So last night we tried to take the Versa and sync it with my phone and it just wasn't working. And then my husband tried to sync it to his phone and even though it worked earlier in the day, it would no longer work. And then my brother tried to sync it to his phone, which is like two earlier versions than our phone all night long and it wouldn't work. So we have called out loss, even though the, the watch is not that, not that like um, old. So we're thinking we're going to try to sell it online, and um, what we're going to do, what I've already done, is I actually found the Fit 2. They brought it back. Um, so I, I purchased it on Amazon, so I can have the phone that, the watch that I really want. Corey's going to have my S2. But it was the most frustrating thing, that the stupid Fitbit that, like, used to work on his phone, like, an hour earlier, didn't work again. It yeah, but he really wants my watch anyway, and I'm happy to let him have it if if he's going to be happy with it so that I can get the one I want. So, watch struggles, hashtag first world problems. <laughs> it's just so much easier for us to have a smartwatch so that we get our phone notifications and things like that. Hashtag first world struggles. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys are going to have a fantastic Friday and that you uh, get to rest this weekend and it's a holiday for some people. I don't know if it's a holiday for all people. Um, I don't know if it's national. It should be natural because we get holiday pay for Martin Luther King. But um, yeah, so thank you guys for sticking with me. My viewership has gone down considerably. I don't understand why, because everyone was like, oh yeah, yeah, keep doing the vlogs, but then people stop watching, so. <laughs> Even though we're doing more exciting things now, who knows? Who knows what's happening? I don't. It's still Friday night, and Marshall and I um, watched some TV, ate dinner, and I had to fold laundry. And I just finished, I'm still waiting for Corey to come home from his function that he's at. I think it's about 9.30. But I'm still so tired. I think I might just get in bed and read a little bit, maybe. I don't really know. But I didn't do a lot of the things I wanted to do tonight. I'm trying to let myself rest more. So hopefully I can finish more things tomorrow. It's Saturday about 1 o'clock. And Corey and Marshall are at work. Um, so basically I get like a five-hour grab to just be with myself and recoup my energy because I'm an introvert. So of course I need my energy recouped. My husband is an extrovert, very much an extrovert. He has a lot of energy um, that he expels. So it drains me sometimes. So I just, I need to be by myself once a week just to do what I need to do, focus on me. So this morning I, Edited almost all of this week's vlogs, um, our St. Augustine one, and uh, the rest of this week, so that I could get a head start for next week. Um, I'm doing inventory right now of like all of our products, and then I ate lunch, and now I'm watching Coco because we have a uh, Netflix movie club online. It's called Nerdy Netflixers. I'll put it down below if you guys want to join, where every week. We pick about five movies that are currently on Netflix. Some are old, some are new, and we do a poll. And then people will vote on what they want to watch for the week, and then we will discuss it. And last week's was Coco, which I was very excited about because I had not seen it ever, and I had been meaning to. So Coco is what I'm watching right now. I'm about 40 minutes into it. But it's a really cute movie. I really, I'm really am enjoying it, especially the culture behind Dia de los Muertos. And, um, you know, just the way that it's it's done is very, very cool. Um, so I'm watching that while I'm doing some other stuff. And then I will probably have um, another three hours before Marshall gets off. And that way I can just chill and watch what I want until then. <clears throat> Plus, even though it's right now, most of the country is having like major snowstorms 
and are getting snowed in. Today it's 75 degrees, but I am cold. So I'm wearing my sloth, long sleeve sloth shirt. Tomorrow it's supposed to be very cold, like not cold, but cold for Florida. It's supposed to be like 60 something. And then Monday it's supposed to be a high of 60, so it's going to be cold. So I got to break out all my long sleeve shirts, I think, for for this um, weather. <laughs> For sure. If I don't get back to you, I get, hope you guys have a good weekend. And uh, the next vlog you see should be some real fun stuff of us at um, the Scottish Highland Games, unless our plans change.